Today we are going to talk about a very popular DF game called Farmer's World. In this episode we will give a full analysis of the game, discuss what it's all about, how to play and whether or not it's too late to start. Hi, I'm Vlad and this is Bunny Money channel where you can find your weekly dose of educational videos about passive income, finance, trading and blockchain. My friends who are involved in blockchain industry and myself have been playing Farmer's World for about two months. And before we go any further, I would like to say that this video isn't sponsored by the game or in fact any project mentioned. Nor does this video contain any financial advice, I'm simply sharing my experience. Also, since there is a lot to discuss, you can use the timestamps in the description to skip ahead to whichever part interests you. Let's talk about the project itself. In essence, Farmer's World is a blockchain game based on VAX blockchain network. There is no gas fee, instead you need to stake CPU, NAT and buy RAM in order to make transactions. On VAX chain, overall transaction fees are relatively low. The number of players who have been playing is also steadily rising. This is a farming game, the economics of which are based on NFT and its own tokens called resources. Currently, there are three resources, food, wood and gold. These three each are separated into two parts, in-game coins and tokens. It means that in order to play, you should get a token and exchange it into the game's coin. After you earn, you exchange it back. There are different types of tools, which are NFTs, with each having their own various kinds. For example, axe, saw and chainsaw produce wood, fishing rod, fishing net, fishing boat produce meat, and mining excavator produces gold. The more expensive the item, the more resources it can produce per day. When you get your NFT, it starts to produce an associated resource. But keep in mind that each tool has a recharge time, meaning that every one or two hours you will need to press recharge button so that the tool can continue to produce its resource. Another two important things are energy and durability. Every time you use an item, you would spend some amount of these two. Energy can be restored by consuming food. Durability can be restored by consuming gold. Therefore, in order to constantly earn money, you need to recharge your tool every one or two hours. You can do so manually or automatically. To do it automatically, you can use a script. And speaking about scripts, my friend and I have developed an open source script that will help you to run the game effectively 24-7 and recharge your tools, thus increasing revenue by around 30%. I will leave a group link for additional info about it in the description. Keep in mind that our script is open sourced, which means transparency, unlike those black box scripts which make people lose money. Also, as a general rule, never use scripts which are not open sourced. Okay, let's talk about earnings. There are three main types of earnings in the game. One is resources. As I mentioned, it can be FWW wood token, FWF food token and FWG gold token. You can sell it for wax. To do so, you can go to alcar.exchange. You can find these three tokens here. When my friends and myself started to play this game, the price of tokens were really low. Also remember that the price fluctuate, so you need to constantly monitor them. You can do so by using our platform as we have developed a reliable tool for monitoring prices of each token in their relation to USDT. And I will explain this again, all three tokens are volatile. Prices rise and fall, which is why it's very important to monitor them. You can do so by clicking on the link in the description. So the first type of earnings comes from tokens. Second type comes from NFTs. When you buy an NFT, at some point you can sell it. Third type of earnings comes from WAX itself. You can monitor WAX price and earn additional money from WAX coin. So in conclusion, you can buy or craft a tool which is NFT and begin to earn different resources through it. You can build farm and interact with other players while monitoring the data. Then you repeat it again. Let's talk about how to play this game. To get on the homepage, type farmersworld.io. On the homepage, you would need to log in by pressing play and earn button. Choose a server, press login, choose wax wallet or an anchor wallet. 
the system will ask you whether you would like to add Farmer's World token into your Wax wallet. In order to play this game, you would also need to have Wax in your wallet. After you press accept and approve, you need to stake net, CPU and RAM. If any of these aren't enough, you will see a notification. After you successfully added token into your wallet, you will be redirected to the NFT card creation page. There are two ways of obtaining an NFT. The first is through an open market, when you buy it from other players using VAX. The second is through Smithy, a place where you can craft an NFT. Let's go to the market first. You will be redirected to the Atomic Hub marketplace, where you can buy NFTs from other people. Depending on the time and opportunity, you would need to decide whether it's more profitable to buy a tool or craft it yourself. When some people want to sell their tool quickly, they might set lower prices on it. Then it's obviously wiser to buy. However, sometimes it will be cheaper to craft it yourself. You can check the comparison here. In order to know the statistics of a particular tool, for example, how many are available, its value, etc., you can use our platform. We provide very detailed metrics. If you buy an item, you use WAX. If you craft an item, you go to the exchange and exchange your WAX to tokens which you will be using to craft an item. After you get your tokens, you would need to deposit them into the game. And when you have your resources ready to withdraw them, you can press withdraw and have them in your wallet. However, withdrawal fee fluctuates from time to time, which is how this game earns money. The lowest fee at the moment is 5%. You can monitor fees directly in our group by typing slash fee. I will leave the link to the group in the description. The most important thing to understand about playing this DApp is its on-chain architecture. The majority of farmers' world data is on a chain, which is good compared to games which are there only to some degree. Uh, this allows you to reduce risks associated with a centralized authority. As mentioned, my friends and myself have been working on a project designed to provide detailed information about DF games in a better way. As of now, we have an analysis tool for Farmer's World. The data is 100% reliable and truthful since we use only on-chain data. Currently, we have metrics such as active users, total users, ratio of deposited amount of resources to withdrawal amount, tools quantity, consumed quantity of energy, durability, value calculations of the tools in different resources, circulating supply of each resource, etc. The reason why we can earn money in the first place is that this tool provides us with real-time reliable data. If someone decides to have a quick cash out or we notice that the amount of players is decreasing or there is a lot of new tools coming out without any reason, this tool will tell us. To decide whether or not this game is worth playing, it took us almost one or even two weeks to fully understand it and gather all these metrics. When we decided to play, the tools in the game were ridiculously expensive, which is why we decided to open a shareable account to put the money in and get good tools. To play any DApp game and earn profit, it's all about how much you know, how well you play and when you start. This should never be a spontaneous decision made with no research or preparation. Understand the game mechanics, economics and data first. I will leave a community link in the description below. We have a free trial analytics tool, withdrawal fee notification, resource deposit to withdrawal notification, and an open source script. Don't think of them as small tools. This fee notification bell alone can save you up to 3% of your earnings. Combined with a new price tool notification, an automated script and the analytics, you can reduce your risks by 99% and increase your profit by at least 50%. The reason we decided to develop it is to create a community of people who just like us wish to reduce risks and increase profits by relying on knowledge and proper tools. If you decide to join us, we will welcome you and your suggestions. We are not associated with Farmer's World. 
our aim is to take care of our community. Besides, we have additional data from other popular games which will be available on our platform very soon. All right, my conclusion is in order to make money from any project or game, it is very important to not only understand how to play but also understand all data regarding the game itself. When we started to play, the tool prices were huge. Using our shared account, we bought NFTs together. We earned money by using our data analysis, scripts and knowledge. However, if you decide to play with no preparation, the risks are high. This was our episode for today. Please make sure that you subscribe to Bunny Money channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm Vlad. See you in the next episode.